Let's talk a little bit about this Mark's Toys football player figure from 1969. He's about four inches tall. In 1969, pro football was somewhat new and very popular on television. Uh, the first Super Bowl was right around that time. Uh, TV was giving pro football coverage every week. I think probably for the first time right around, you know, that time. And, and there were nationally televised games. Um, so I'm pretty sure that would be the reason why Marx would be to decide to make football player figures. Uh, you see on the bottom, we've got Lewis, Marx, and Company. And we've got the date, which is 1969. Like I said, about four inches tall. These figures came in red and in yellow. So you had two teams. Now I'm not really sure if, you know, these the number of the number of figures in the set, I don't know if they were all if it was a mix of offense and defense. Um and but you know, knowing marks and their ability to uh market things correctly, I'm fairly certain that, you know, one team or both teams had defensive and offensive players, and you were it was intended for you to pit the red team against the yellow team in games. Um, these are really cool. I like this is the only one I have. I think it's interesting that this particular figure is here with his arms extended and his hands up. Uh, I'm I'm happy that the figure that I have has all of his fingers intact because this I think. If you you know if you look at Mark's six inch figures of, of of several different lines, Mark's had a tendency to produce large figures with their arms extended and their hands out there like that. Like some of the Marvel figures, I think the Daredevil and the, the Spider Man figure, which are about six inches, they have that that uh, their pose is like that, and it makes it difficult to find the figures. Here we you know here we are fifty years later and. Hands and fingers break off. And so uh, that is the case with those Marvel figures I talked about. And it is also the case with the Universal Monsters figures. There's a couple of those figures also. I think it's the Mummy and the Wolfman that also their pose is similar with their hands and their arms out. And they lose fingers and hands fairly easily. Let's look at this guy up close. See what he looks like. And uh, take a look at that Marks quality that we're all familiar with. This is a solid Marks plastic figure. A bit of a, of a waxy feel to it, as is typical with Marks. But it is beautifully sculpted. And it is, in its own right, a work of art. Um, it has lasted 50 years and what a, what's he doing here? I think that this guy, is he, is he a tight end and is he saying I'm open, I'm open? Um, because what else? I mean, it's, it, uh, it's interesting because he's, he's, he, what's he pushing? I don't know. But anyway, cool figure. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.